He's a bitter man. <laughs> Dave's kicking off now. Right, go on, let's get, get, get your round of applause going! Hello! Hello! Uh, so, if you don't know me, uh, as you can probably tell, uh, I'm a massive lad. <laughs> Any other lads here? Yeah. yeah. Top lad? <laughs> Top lad. No? Uh, bottom lad? <laughs> My guy. <laughs> I am that much of a lad, right? Uh, that my pronouns are. Oi, oi! <laughs> Way! Now, I do love going the football, you know? The chanting. Who are you? Who are you? I don't know yet. <laughs> now, I'm in the early days uh, of starting to transition. Uh, I'm 31, so I do worry at times, you know, that I've made things harder for myself, you know? That I'm a little bit late. Granted, not as late as my period. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and when I say I'm transitioning, let's make it crystal clear from male to female. <laughs> because one time a guy came up to me at the bar with the sweetest of intentions and he said, you're so brave. You look amazing. It is incredible how well you've nailed that male voice. <laughs> Because I'm kind of resigned to the fact that I'm probably going to be single until I sort this voice out. Because it no longer matches with the aesthetic, does it? I've got the appearance that is starting to turn a little bit female. But the voice of a man that's going to sell you car insurance. <laughs> At an incredibly reasonable rate. <laughs> Now, I just think it's going to be hard, right, to convince a man that I'm calling him daddy when my voice sounds more like his father than he does. So instead, now, after sex, uh, I've decided to own it, and I'm going to flip it, and I'll be like, I'm proud of you, son. <laughs> this is how we do it. Yeah. But it's all about, you know, I, I know I'm being negative about the transition, but it's all about measuring progress, right? You know, uh, I've already taken little steps. Uh, I've already taken my 20% pay cut. <laughs> but now um, I actually only had my first gay night out the other month, uh, which was pretty cool. In Stoke-on-Trent's vibrant gay scene. <laughs> Or as I like to call it, uh, Brian. <laughs> but, uh, it stokes one of those towns, right, like most places around here, right, where on every high street there's just that guy who's just like pissed as fuck, like feeding quavers to pigeons, you know? And he shouted at me down the street and he went, Oi mate, show us your tits. Which first thought was really unfortunate because I left them in the car. <laughs> and second thought, this is not gonna work out, Brian. <laughs> Fine, I thought I'd test some new stuff out at Bushfest. <laughs> uh, but uh, in Stoke-on-Trent, we've got uh, a newspaper called Stoke-on-Trent Live. Uh, they had a very popular article recently, right, which has taken over my life. And it reads, stunned family, discover fake pair of breasts at a Staffordshire beauty spot. <laughs> I have been tagged in this now, relentlessly, for the last week. Uh, I will add, by my friends, going, are these yours? <laughs> Way! <laughs> have you left them? Went out dogging? Yeah. I need you to know now, Hollybush, that I don't go dogging. 
because I can't drive. <laughs> I've got learner's car insurance. I've got a provisional driving license. The only way that I could go dogging is if my dad's cheering me on from the passenger seat. <laughs> or I forget an Uber. <laughs> Anyone tried that? <laughs> they don't like it. <laughs> me in the back, you know, driver at the front. My dad's still in the passenger seat for some reason. <laughs> He's called Shotgun. <laughs> now, I have been tagged now so many times in this post that Stoke-on-Trent Live have now messaged me. <laughs> asking for my side of the story. <laughs> They've offered me 50 quid for an interview. <laughs> and what's that, right? You know, taking someone out for dinner or... Replacing a pair of tits that you lost in the forest? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> By the way, Rory, Andrew, you look like a before and after of each other. <laughs> just not sure of what. <laughs> I do, it's just incredibly offensive to one of you. <laughs> but uh, I, I know I'm just talking a lot about insecurities. Uh, I want to talk you through one more, if that's okay. That, that's my hair. Uh, th this isn't my real hair, by the way. Uh, this is a wig. Shock horror, fuck you. You, you could do it a fucking wig, don't you? Do you want it? That is going to suit him as well. Fucking gorgeous. Get it, turn around, stand on, turn around. It's Justin Lee Collins. <laughs> fucking gay Jesus right now, isn't it? Hey, do you know what the worst thing is? I fucking would as well. I fucking would. So would I. Yeah. I'm fuck, told you. You'd fuck me now, would you? Yeah. <laughs> this has gone tremendously away from where I thought it would, but... I never thought I'd want to fuck Agrid right now, would I? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the whole purpose of that, right, we're going to get it back on track, is that, <laughs> is that with this hair, I do worry that, like, you know, if I'd have rocked up on stage like this, you know, and not mentioned the trans thing, that some of you would be like, are they transgender or are they part of the hottest band to break in 2023? Yeah. Yeah. All I'm saying is, none of you would have called bullshit if I said I was the bassist in Imagine Dragons. <laughs> I, I'm also aware of, you know, is it she, her pronouns, or are they French? <laughs> <laughs> The dynamic would have changed with a beret and a baguette. <laughs> and to those people, I'd go, we saw that. <laughs> but uh, um, the worst one, like my little sister, um, I don't know if you have family members that take things too far. Uh, she says that if I wore thick rims glasses, uh, she thinks I'd look like Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not the vibe we're going for. I'm not sure if you're just like stunned or just, yeah, so let's try it out. Fuck it. <laughs> what do we reckon? <laughs> <laughs> Any gays in? <laughs> let's kill him! <laughs> no, but let's do it with the glasses on. Um, I assume we've all watched that Netflix series, right? Or we've at least yeah. heard about it. It was obviously very brutal, right? A lot of murder, a lot of cannibalism. But that's not what I took from it. What I took from it was how low Budweiser will now stoop for a product <laughs> placement opportunity. <laughs> Every time Jeffrey brought back a victim to his place, he drugged them with a white powder inside of Budweiser. Which is Budweiser's way of saying, our beer is going to overpower the taste of Rehitnon. <laughs> It's more sinister while I'm wearing these, isn't it? Yeah. 
Uh, and obviously they received a lot of backlash to it. So much so that Budweiser have had to release a public statement on it. And I wanted to share that with you. And it reads... What's up? <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> now, for my final routine, right, uh, I'm going to take these off. I feel fucking creepy. Um, but no, for my final routine, it's normally about being bisexual uh, and the breakdown of a relationship uh, with a female over the past seven years. Uh, I lost confidence in it because this gay man heckled me as if to suggest that going out with a woman for so long didn't make me properly bisexual. As if all of my previous dating history had expired like a weird little horny coupon. <laughs> so I asked the man outright and I was like, mate, what is the minimum number of dicks I need to suck a year to maintain my membership? It was a rhetorical question, but he said free. <laughs> Anyone want to challenge me on that? <laughs> if you want, guys, I'm genuinely prepared to sack off the last joke and play a game of higher or lower. <laughs> the typical answer I always get right is always what? Which to me, I think, just makes it sound like a tax. Yeah. <laughs> Is it January again? Shit! <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been a really cool crowd. Um, just a reminder that I live in Stoke-on-Trent, so uh, quite often I have to play at very traditional working men's clubs with that routine. <laughs> and a one in particular, right? Four old boys walked out immediately after that joke. Gosh, God bless. I've enjoyed it. Hey, Josh Reynolds, everyone! Oh, no, let him keep the wig, like. Yeah, I was wanting to get a fucking bristly blowjob off him in the bridge. Wait, I want to